Hello everybody, Tammy here with Along for the Ride and today we are headed to Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Maxwell? Arkansas. Where? In Eureka Springs. It's gonna be fun. Why are we going? Scuba. Scuba dive. Here's You're something. not. No, not us. But... I'll be next year. the right house? Hopefully. We did an Airbnb. It's chilly in here. It's actually kind of nice. Upstairs. Two people sleep on the bottom or the top. Wait. Dude, you look dope. This looks like it'll be the master. You back? You back? Oh my god, Mason, it's a high tech key back. They, like, they put like mechanical bots in this. I'm kidding. So comes to your guys' bedroom. So we are literally walking distance from the water. like we're doing a little studying outside because um, the reason we're down here is Mark and Mitchell and Miles are going to be scuba certified so they are going to take classes the next three days and they dive a minimum of 60 feet I think to be certified so they're, they're going to be tested over the next few days so they're studying and that is the whole reason that we are down here at um, Beaver Lake in Arkansas near Eureka Springs so Brought the whole family, thought we'd make a family trip out of it, so it's going to be fun. We thought we'd take you along for the ride and document some memories. This is a really neat location. If you're interested, um, I can provide the link to the Airbnb that we rented. It's um, Blue Lake Tavern, I think was the name of it, but I can provide a link if you're interested. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Can I tiptoe my shoes? It won't get the inside until I get farther. Whoa. Okay. I should probably stop here. Dang, that's clear. See, there's no water in my shoes yet. So they have pictures here hanging on the wall of the bridge I showed you earlier that we were outside. When we were down at the water, we took a picture of the bridge. And um, obviously, it's a half a bridge now, but they have an pretty neat picture documentation of the story of this bridge. Neat little place here in Eureka Springs. If you ever get to Eureka Springs, I would highly recommend it. We love it. All right, well, they're headed out for their first morning of scuba. How do you feel about this, Miles? Might be a little nervous. Perfect. Might be a little nervous. The two scuba newbies. Yeah. And they're off. I think they were a 
little nervous. They didn't want to admit it, although I think I would be too. So. Maxwell and I are just going to stay here and chill and eat lunch. Because I don't want to drive over that one lane bridge. So we thought we would take a ride over to the lake and see if we could somewhat see them get ready to dive. But trees are in the way, so I don't think we will be able to... Wow, beautiful clear lake. Cool. Look at that. I can see it way out there. It's not too chilly. I could sit here for hours and just sit. That was just so clear though. It's what kind of water is it? Blow out of your nose. They had a little break because so you can have to take a visit. switch back and forth like this. Pinch where you breathe into your neck mouth and then breathe out your nose. That way you know you can breathe. back at the house. Um, today went a little different than planned. Um, Mark and Miles struggled a little bit with their first dive. Um, they basically, I think Miles, he went down on his first dive, did okay, and did everything he needed to do properly. But then for some reason, um, everything turned sideways <laughs> and stayed that way. So he properly um, slowly ascended to the top, but then that made him pretty sick. And he wasn't able to continue from that point on, so um, he's going to try probably again tomorrow. Mark, same way. He got down there, and <clears throat> I think they went down to 15 feet today. I don't know. They'll have to give you some more detail. I'm just kind of giving you my story from what I've gathered, and um, a little bit of struggle with, um, I think they have to fill the mask with water and then empty it and stuff like that. So. Um, it all sounds easy, but when you're actually trying to do it, especially in a lake, it can be <clears throat> a little more challenging than you think. So, Okay, so they're back and they're explaining possibly why they're having problems. It has to do with the temperature in the water and when they're cold, their ears are not releasing the pressure. So um, let's see if they can explain it to you guys because they've explained it, but I'm not as good as... I'm not as good at explaining it back. So, why did we have a problem today? All right, scuba today for me was a total fail. And me. I never thought you could get motion sickness underwater and ear problems, but you can. How do you know so, they did ear because, problems? But did the temperature have something to do with it? Maybe. <laughs> Rewind. The dive master the dive was master saying. The dive master was saying that the colder water will cause issues with the ears. <laughs> And that's why, wasn't it 70 degrees? Something contracts in your ears and it's harder to equalize. Yeah, and then who knows what happened to me. What happened to you today, Miles? I don't know. It was like... It was just stupid. Yeah, a little bit of that. <laughs> no kidding. Like I couldn't, like I was equalizing, but it just was, it didn't seem to work. And then it just, I don't know. Well, you, even the, my second dive over here, or yeah. after you left, I came back up out of the water. I was dizzy again. Yeah, and it could just be symptoms of it. It couldn't I actually be it, but it could replicated because I like literally couldn't even stand up straight for like two hours well a lot of it was nerve I'll, I'll tell you what you get down there in that dark darker water it's it, all stirred up it's nerve-wracking I don't know it was still cool I had, I, like, I'll probably just call it good until I can find warmer water and yeah something different I still had fish coming up and nibbling on me that was cool so not you guys a couple. you're not supposed to do that oh boy yeah, you can. I know I was joking turns out Miles had a very successful day today scuba diving. Um, he was able to hit or break 40 feet. So this morning he still wasn't feeling good, didn't want to go. 
um, considered not going. We pushed him, like, just go give it a try. Don't go beyond your comfort level. And he went and turned out great. He didn't have any problems. And like I said, he was able to go down to 40 feet. So he was pretty proud of himself, and that turned out to be great. They go back tomorrow morning to do some more. Now that he's got over whatever was bothering him, he's ready to go deep dive into the wreck dives. So I don't know if they'll let him go down. I guess there's um, a ship buried, or not buried, uh, there is a ship down at the bottom of this lake and a helicopter. So my oldest son has dove down to about 100 feet and went down, him and his buddy, down to the ship and everything. That was pretty cool. So that's what um, Miles is hoping to do, but I'm not sure if this trip he'll get to do that. But now him and his brother could come back another time and definitely do that together. That'd be fun. 803, we didn't even have to get up early. Look at that bed here. Yeah. <laughs> yep, they're already in over there. there in the corner. Oh. It's cold. <laughs>
All right, well, we finally made it home. It's been a long weekend, um, but a fun, productive weekend. Uh, you know, Miles, he did great. He, that first day, uh, he was, he went out, he, he got sick. I mean, he got motion sickness, I got motion sickness. I mean, who would have thought? Uh, you know, you get down in there, you just don't know until you get down there. Um, second day, we finally got Miles out there. He, uh, uh, we got, got him some motion sickness pills and did good. I went back down. I had problems with my ears. I could not get my right ear to clear. I get down about 15, 20 feet and it just would not release. I mean, it was just pain. So I had to, uh, I had to stop. I had to come up and I couldn't finish my dives. They wouldn't let me with that, with the hurting like that. 
but Miles, he, he got through the whole deal. So, but anyway, it was fun, great experience. I'd like seeing my older, the oldest son there, uh, you know, really guide Miles too. It, it was good, it was a good experience. Good family memories, uh, good time. So, anyway, until the next time, we'll talk to you later.